I'm a little flustered. And then thyroid has to be my Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. I just got back from a walk and breakfast with Ellie. We went to Urban Market and I got my classic steak sweet potato onion bowl. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But anyways, every so often I feel like I lose track of the macros that I'm eating and I won't be eating enough protein and then I'm not seeing like the gains that I'm supposed to or I'm not getting the results I want and every so often I have to bring myself back and track my macros to make sure that I'm you know eating the right things for my goals and so as you know my favorite app to do that is Lifesum so I'm super grateful to be partnering with them again and I was going to show you the app and how I track my food so here's the app as you can see I haven't loaded in my breakfast yet so I'm going to show you in a second how I do that but before I do, I want to show you my favorite parts about Lifesum. So over here in the recipes tab, they have so many different ones to choose from. And what I love most about it, it basically takes away all the hard parts of tracking macros. And it does all the calculations for you. It tells you how much protein, carbs, fat, all of that. And then if you make it and you eat it, then you can track it like this is game changer you guys and now when i go back to my diary it's added in there also if you go to programs you can choose you know what diet to have for what your goals are so if your goal is to build muscle then they have a plan for you and it gives you all of these recipes and all of the tips to get to your goals if you're not sure what plan fits best for you, they have a take the test option and you can answer all these questions about your food preferences, your goals, and it will tell you which plan would be best. Then if you go to the progress tab, it will tell you your scores. As you can see, today is my first day trying it in a little bit because I'm just now getting back on track and it will track all your progress. Um, your nutrition and sleep because it connects to your Apple health, which is really cool. Now I'm going to show you how I log my food. So for breakfast, it's really easy if you don't have a barcode to scan. Like it's like a whole food or something like that. Look, sweet potatoes. I had sweet potatoes and I had about 4.6 ounces, which is the serving that they already had on there. And it'll tell you the food rating, which is really cool. Tell you the amount of carbs or protein versus fat. And so now I'm going to hit track. And now I'm going to add in the rest of my breakfast. Now that I've added all of my breakfast, you can see how it added under the breakfast tab. And I had 585 calories, 37 carbs, 33 protein, and 36 grams of fat. And to be honest, that's a really good breakfast for me. I feel like this will give me plenty of fuel for my workout and a great start to my day. And I just love how easy Lifesum made it to track that. So I have the premium subscription for Lifesum, however they do have a free option where you can have a food diary and a habit tracker, however I prefer the premium because you get access to that recipe base that I was showing you, you guys the recipes are so bomb. With the premium you also get to save all of those yummy recipes which is so nice so you can go back to them if you really liked one. You also get access to the macro and the exercise tracking since it can hook up to your Apple Health and it can pull all the data from that and put it into one place so it's super easy for you and then it will also give you a life score and give you tips on ways you could improve not to mention if you're someone who just doesn't know what to eat for your goals with the premium subscription you can also get access to the meal plans where they are completely designed around either building muscle losing weight you know maintaining where you are um, so yeah, they just have so many great options. If you want to check out Lifesum, I will leave a discount link in the description box below. It's 55% off a premium membership with them, so you get 
all of those benefits that I just explained and it's worth it I'm on it I love it anyways I will leave a link in the description box and yeah I'm on my way to the gym I'm gonna do booty day today I've actually been only training glutes like two days a week so I've actually felt a lot better and my cortisol has been a lot lower and I can definitely feel that so um, yeah I'm gonna go train and then I gotta drop a couple of stuff off at the UPS store I ordered these cutting boards from Amazon they're like these cute marble ones because I want to do like cooking content and stuff like that on my snapchat they came cracked so and then I ordered again and it came cracked again so now I have to go go return to marble heavy freaking cutting boards but anyways <laughs> I just got back from an IV. I am getting this IV like once a week, I think, for my mold. It's supposed to help me with like brain function because mold has such a crazy effect on like brain fog and fatigue and all that. So this is supposed to really help me. Um, yeah. And now I'm sitting in the car waiting for Michael. He's going to pick me up and we're going to go check out the, the Franklin investment property once more. Um, and then I think we'll probably go eat, maybe go on a walk. While we wait, I also, like, wanted to, like, chat about something that I don't know if everybody else is feeling this way, but I feel like every friend that I've talked to, like, in person about this has been feeling the same way. I feel like there's just something happening in the world right now where God is calling his people back, and I don't know what it is, but it's just... I've had this like pull towards God and like you know kind of restarting reigniting my journey of faith and I've just noticed it's actually so crazy my camera died as I was starting to say that it is just so crazy like spiritual warfare I totally believe in it and I think it's a thing um so how crazy that my camera just died when I brought up the topic of God and like faith but anyways what I was saying I feel like God is just slowly changing my heart and I notice him doing it to the people around me as well and I just think it's really beautiful I think it's really cool and personally speaking as I've talked about this on the vlog before and you've probably noticed like the way that I post is so different than it used than I used to like years ago and before I would just, you know, I'd post my body because I knew I'd get a lot of views or like that was just like, you know, the strategy to grow. And now I just have like, I don't, it doesn't feel right anymore. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to wear a crop top because God can change my heart on that if he wants to, but he hasn't yet. So don't come for me in the comments, but <laughs> I'm just kind of like letting him 
do it, I'm letting him slowly change, you know, my morals or just whatever, whatever it is that God does when he like purifies your heart and makes you new. And I've just been trying to be like really open to that and just like listen to him and have him guide me. I just feel like a lot of my friends are on the same journey where we're just being called back to him and and I just like am so grateful for the timing of it. I talked about this on Mary's podcast, I think, if I can even remember. It's it's coming out soon, but I'm pretty sure that I said this on her podcast. I feel really grateful for the timing of things, you know? Like meeting Michael and then moving to Tennessee, getting out of LA, getting out of the scene, finding some like true friends and like really just building the foundation for Michael and I's family. And then, you know, we move here, we find like the house we want to be in and like the place we want to raise our family. And, you know, my heart slowly is starting to change about the way that I dress and the way that I post and, um, you know, being called back to faith and, I don't know I feel like it's a really important foundation to have when it comes to like raising your children and like reading the bible I've been doing that a lot recently and reading the bible I've realized that a lot of my like deep-rooted morals are from what I was taught as a child and are literally just a lot of things that the bible says of how you should be and I just got me thinking I was like wow like in my opinion and how like Michael and I want to raise our babies in faith and as God is the center I'm just like realizing how important that is I guess and I'm really grateful that before we you know have kids we're both being called back to God and I just think that the timing of everything of everything is really beautiful so I just get in the car and the first thing that Michael does is trying to trick me that our house is falling down and that we defaulted with our bank and that we can't do our house anymore. I got you one time. I just can't. You pull did, it off yeah. Oh, and you started smiling. Yeah, I know. I already. Knew. I got her good on the phone the other day. I was like, "Babe, our our house is is falling apart. It's sloping on one side. We're gonna have to demo half the home, and it's gonna be too expensive to rebuild it. So we just we, we just are gonna have to." We, we just can't do it anymore. And, uh, and Daisy ate it. I, I you're, did. You're just gonna be like the boy who cried wolf. I'm never gonna believe you. Anyways. You don't believe me when I tell you I love you? I don't know. <laughs> 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 just kidding. <laughs> um, we are about to pull up to our investment property. I will let you know if we have any updates. Um, I don't think anything big is happening. I think we're just like deciding layout. All right, so we just got here, and if you can see, we got some new windows. They are slightly skinnier, but they're quite a bit taller, and they actually look really good. I'm gonna put in some screenshots, or just some pictures I took on my phone, because I would go in and show you, but it's about to storm, and I don't wanna go back outside, so. breakfast okay <laughs> Michael already made himself some chicken and he had some leftover and so I was like okay I'll just have that for breakfast um but just kind of like a general thing of what I try and do for my breakfast is I try and have like some sort of sweet potato or potato in general typically like anywhere from like 30 to like 40 grams of protein is usually what I aim for. I'm gonna go pick up some raw milk and then come back, make some potatoes, and then work out.
haven't been following along on my Snapchat, then this is gonna be a shock to you. We are in the process of ripping out the walls, rearranging the framing, all of that stuff. So excited for you guys to see it. It's actually crazy to see our house like this. As you saw, I made a sweet potato steak bowl. It's kind of like a little copycat of the Urban Market build a bowl. I'm so obsessed with it. I literally have to have it every single day to where I made it at home. Um, so that's what I had for breakfast. I've been trying to make most of my carbs sweet potatoes, just considering I'm going through mold toxicity right now. And apparently sweet potato is like one of the safest carbs for me to eat especially normal carbs like rice and oats apparently those are more common for mold growth so i really just need to try and limit slash get rid of anything in my diet that possibly has mold anyways guys michael and i are about to go and design our cabinets for our investment property so we're gonna go run around run some errands, and then probably get a snack or just have lunch, I'm not sure yet. But before we go, I wanna show you my outfit. So these sunglasses, I think they're from SheVoke, I think, I'll, click, I'll check that. Um, and then this top is Brandy Melville. This, I think, Reformation maybe, I'll double check on that one again, and then the pants are Brandy Melville. They have really cute like linen pants right now. My shoes, look at how cute their little ballet flats from Mew Mew. Today, Michael and I are going to go shopping for some countertops, maybe some bathroom tile, we're not sure yet, for our Franklin investment property. We also have to go and drop off some of the faucets that are supposed to be arriving today, so I'm going to show you what those look like. I also realized I haven't really shared my mood board or my vision here on YouTube. I share like the day in the life, like every moment of the renovation on snapchat so um i'm gonna put up my inspo photos right here so you can kind of see the vibe we're going for so as you know the house is really small and quaint and so we're going for more of a cottage style so this is today's outfit top is from frankie's bikinis this is just like a basic um sports bra from aloe then pants are skims i think it's like the jersey material bootleg legging and then my shoes are just my Ugg slippers. This bag is from Reformation. I've been really into like the bigger slouchy bags recently. So here is the kitchen faucet. This color is just so beautiful. And I love the detail. It's very cottagey. Michael and I, literally when we opened it up, 
We were like, should we swap it out for ours? I mean, it's way better than ours. Right there. I know. We have just like a plain black one over there, but this one's so cute. So here is another faucet. This is going to be for the guest bathroom. This color is just so pretty. We just did the same color across the entire house just to keep it all uniform. I feel like that's best for a smaller home. And here are the handles for this faucet. So cute and quaint, exactly like my inspo photos. Hello friends, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Literally in my car, there's like this like ledge. It's perfect for a camera. This is so good, okay. Um, right now we're taking my car to a parking garage because it's supposed to hail and possibly a tornado and I don't have a garage to put my car in and I really don't feel like making repairs. Um, so we are going to go and park my car. Ah, you're sliding. We're going to go, sorry, it's so chaotic. We're going to go park my car. And then Michael and I are gonna go and head to the investment property to go drop off some of those faucets and valves and stuff like that. And then we are gonna go make some selections on countertops and bathroom tiles. So, anyways, wish us luck. We're gonna be driving the truck around, so if there's like hail, it's fine, it's a truck, whatever. But definitely wanna protect my baby. to the gym we're gonna do a little workout i have booty day today so wish me luck i'm thankfully not feeling too fatigued i had good carbs before this so i feel fine um but yeah we're gonna do a new booty day michael and i just finished our workout i'm not gonna lie it was pretty rough i think i'm gonna start to just only train booty day two days a week instead of three and I'm just gonna drop the weight because I feel like it's a lot on my body with everything I'm dealing with with the mold. Uh, like I just get so much anxiety during my workouts. I feel like I'm gonna faint. It's just not good. So I think I need to listen to my body, which is frustrating because I've been working so hard to grow my glutes. But what are you gonna do? Um, anyways, we are gonna stop at Whole Foods and do a little grocery run. We are all out of food. I think we're gonna get some like chicken, and veggies, stuff like that. So guys, this is the last meal of the day. I'm having a protein shake. It is just almond milk, water, cause I ran out of almond milk, ice, a little bit of honey and whey chocolate protein powder. Um, typically what I try and do for my days is have two meals with a lot of protein and then a protein shake or i'll have three meals with a lot of protein so if i'm really busy that day and i can only have time to like you know go out to eat or cook two meals or whatever the case is then i make the protein shake like that was today um but yeah typically i just try and aim for three servings of protein anyways michael and i are gonna watch a show we just started watching the show called what is it called baby do you know what the show is called uh which show the one that we're about to watch uh, fallout. michael and i just started watching the show called fallout i don't know if you've seen it but it's so good the first episode had us like hooked and so we're gonna relax and watch a show and then go to bed. Alrighty, hello guys. I feel like my hair is in such a weird, awkward phase. Michael calls me a penis head because of how my bangs like curl in. Like no matter what way I do my hair, he says I look like a penis head and now I can't unsee it. Cause I kind of agree with him and that's what sucks. So, <laughs> so Next time you get bangs, just like really think it through. But 
you know, it totally looks like a penis. What the hell? Okay, anyways, um, I went in the car. Michael's on a phone call, and I, I'm going to do a little haul. JK, I just, like, bought, like, I bought two things. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I got this, um, natural deodorant. It's Ty's Crystal Deodorant Stick, world's best 100% natural deodorant, and it's literally only mineral salt. That's it. And then here's why it works. Potassium al alum, I don't know, salt minerals remain on the surface of your skin to naturally prevent the growth of odor-causing bacteria. Okay. Butter-infused olive oil. It's so good. This is what goes on top of the, like, this is where they cook the steak in, like, that one bowl that I always get from Urban Market. I've shown it, like, a million times on my Snapchat because I'm here, like, every day. Um, but it's, like, the steak, sweet potato, and onion bowl. And then they use this, and it's so good. And so we got this for Michael's parents since we're about to go there. This soap. I forgot to bring soap to use at their house because I'm trying to be, like, fragrance-free for, like, all my mold stuff and for my hormones. And so it's Enchanted Forest, and it's scented with essential oils, which I've heard, like, mixed reviews on essential oils and how they're not, like, you know, that good, but everything is bad for you at this point, so I might as well just, like, choose what's least bad, maybe. Mm. Wow, that smells so good. It's like lavender, eucalyptus, like, Japanese spa. Mm. Oh, also, another thing... Urban Market right now has these like this pistachio brittle coffee. Oh my gosh, you guys! This is Michael's, and I'm like drinking it. Oh my god, it's so good. He's gonna come by. It's all gone. I feel bad.